Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the final day of the client attraction sprint. Holy moly. Five days, you guys. We did this. I'm so excited for today. We're going to keep it light. It's going to be easy. It's going to be simple. It's not going to be too much content because I know that we've I've been giving you a lot to think about. So I'm going to keep it super light. I see some people joining live. Hello, hello. Hi, Matt. How are you? Thank you for giving me a little love. Um, so let me just make sure that I'm sharing this in my... Wait, where am I live? Did I go live in the right place? I keep going live in the wrong place. <laughs> Let me make sure I share these in the group and then I pull it all up here to answer your questions. Give me one second. All right, cool. So here we are. I'm gonna share this and I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the final, of the $500 to use towards any of my packages, which is so fun, literally $500 cash, so fun. Okay, so let me share these in the group. Um, and then we're gonna get started. Here we go. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Hola, hola, Tony. <laughs> okay, so it's been a wild ride over the past five days. I've given you so much content. So today we're gonna keep it super simple and we're gonna talk about the type of content that's gonna help you instantly elevate your credibility so that you don't blend with the noise and, and people actually see you uh, somebody who can help them who gets results and they can see you as an authority so it's gonna be a really simple type of content but it's gonna be so potent and what I invite you to do is that you use this type of content that I'm gonna share with you and you create at least one or two posts per week where you're sharing the information that I'm gonna give you it's gonna be so, so, so helpful. And maybe you guys have, let me let me tell you something. You probably have already heard about this, okay? But my question to you is, are you doing it, okay? So don't roll your eyes when, I'm, when I share what I'm gonna tell you, because I'm gonna give you all the details. But are you doing it, okay? It's so, so, so important. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna dive straight into it. Hi guys, whoever's joining live, say hi. Is Julia here? Or is Katie? If Katie's here, but say hello, because remember, engagement helps you. If you're here live and you are actually the winner of the five hundred dollars, then I'm gonna give you an extra two hundred. <laughs> doesn't sound like it. Doesn't sound like they're here. Alrighty, now moving on. I'm gonna go and get into the type of content that I want you to share more often. That's gonna elevate your your credibility. So so far we have talked about. Creating content that's really focused on your ideal client and what they're going through and really speaking to those daily symptoms that they are dealing with, right? And we created a, a post that pre-qualifies them, that makes sure that the people that are going to reply to that, they're going to be a yes, um, like a really good fit for your program. So we've done all of that. And some of the content that I want to share with you is really all about showing proof, okay? So when I say show proof, what I mean is sharing with people that what you do with clients, that your zone of expertise, whatever you're amazing at, that it actually works, okay? And so when I say that, a lot of people probably feel like, oh my gosh, am I good enough? Trust me, I've had those thoughts too. Like, oh, it's my stuff, you know, what if I don't have enough testimonials? What if, that, if I don't have enough proof? But here's what I wanna tell you. Even if you have only one case study, even if that case study is only yourself, your only job is to look at that piece of data, essentially, and that case study, and look at it from different angles, and share with people what worked and why you got the result that you got, right? So maybe even you just have one client that's been like your star client that's been amazing. Let's just say that, worst case scenario, that you've only had one person, maybe just your own personal story. Don't, don't feel like that's the worst case scenario. Feel like that is awesome, that you want more of that and share with people what were the steps that you took in order to help your client get to that result, 
okay? And you can talk about it not just on one post. Obviously, don't be like, this is all we did with my client in order to get here because there are so many different things that we all do with our clients, right? It's not just one thing. But that is what's beautiful about this, that what I want to teach you today is that when you look at that one case study that maybe you think, oh, it's not that many, it's not that good, but if you start dissecting it and looking at where were they at on our first session, then what happened on the second session? Like, what were the other problems that they had? And then what happened at the end of the session? And then you start creating one single piece of content every single week, even if you don't even have this client anymore, but just reflect, look at your notes, and then start sharing with people that you had a client, they were in this position, you took some actions, or these are, these are some of the insights, or some of the things that you worked on in order to get to this tiny little result, that's gonna give people an insight into the small, tiny steps that they can take in order to get somewhere. So I'm gonna give you an example so that this kind of lands with you because I did it with one of my clients and this post that I'm gonna share with you actually helped me get a $10,000 painful client, okay? So, hi Julia, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna keep it super brief, okay? it's not. You're gonna get all the prompts in your workbooks. I'm, I'm actually just gonna read them out and I'll, then I'll just share my screen to, to show you the post. Um, but really, this is all about sharing with people where is your client at? So think about one of your favorite clients, okay? We did this on day one. Who are one of your favorite clients and think about where they're where where they were at before working with you okay what did they come to you for how were they what were they struggling with how were they feeling okay then what is the breakthrough let's just say that you had a really great session after maybe the th session number three and they had an aha moment and they ended up getting a massive result or something that was unexpected or even just a small little result then Think about this, like what was that result that they got, okay? What was that like big breakthrough that maybe they weren't expecting that you helped them achieve? What was it? And then once you look at, okay, here's where they were, here's where they ended up after that session, then I want you to think about, well, what were the things that we had to look at, that we had to talk about in order to get there? What were the small things that we uncovered, okay? So what do you do to get you there? Wait, what do you do to get there? Um, you don't need to tell people the whole process, just one of the steps that you took in order to get there, okay? And then the takeaway that you wanna share in your post is, okay, so here's one small thing that you can do in order to start getting there and then add a call to action for people to work with you, okay? So here is the post that I wanna share with you that was so effective for me because I did exactly what I just told you. So I'm just gonna share my screen here and you can take some notes if you want, but you're gonna get this in your workbook anyway. So basically I share with my audience how I had a client that within one week of working with me, he was able to generate $26,000 um, in one of the slowest months of the year, right? And so I gave them some context, um, and this happened after three calls together, right? So I'm giving them the context. How would you feel if you could achieve this kind of result? Well, this is exactly what happened with one of my clients only after three calls. So in case if you're one in case you're wondering if this can work for you, here's some context. So what I'm doing here is I'm sharing with them, look, this is the type of person that I was working with. So that you don't feel like they are, you know, that this doesn't apply to you. Okay. So I give them some of the things that make them, you know, that some of the characteristics of their business, what kind of business they had, where were they at? Okay. And then I tell them like, what were the shifts that I did? So for example, one of the things that I did, I, I like walk people through the process. Like one of the first things that I did with this client in order to get this result is we had to shift um, the areas of life when they were kind of blocking themselves for receiving more money, right? And then I give a little, a, a little tip on some of the things that we did. Then let's see, what is, what is this? Oh yeah. So I gave an example of, you know, what my client was doing in terms of money and what was what was going on in his financial situation and how we were able to get him a little bit closer to close some loops in order for him to be ready to receive 
more money, right? And so he had some debts owing. And so what I said is like, look, here's what we did. We looked at what are the things, what are the areas of life where you're not actually letting yourself receive money. And here's how I helped him like close that off. So what I'm doing is I'm sharing some of the small mindset shifts, some of the small steps that we took in order for him to have that result, right? And then I tell them, look, I there's more that I did in this strategy. There's more that I did with this client, but stay tuned if you want to know more because I'm going to share with you some more of those details. And then I make a call to action. If you're ready to create exponential results in your business, like my client, I just open up a one spot for one-on-one coaching. And then I tell them a little bit about what it is. You and me for six months rewiring your brain and getting down with your marketing strategy. So then I make an offer. Do you see that? So what I did is I went from here's the amazing result, okay? Here's the backstory. Here's a couple of things that we did in order to get there. And I'm gonna tell you, and then I open a loop. Here are all, there are, there's more that we did, but you know, here's just a couple of things. So stay tuned because I'm gonna share more with you. And in case you're ready to take some action, here are the ways that you can work with me, right? So then I have another, and then I created a little screenshot of, you know, his testimonial and what he shared with me. Um, And then I posted it, right? And this this post was amazing because he got me so many people that were interested in like hearing more. I had, I I think like five people who reached out to me and then three of them booked calls and then one of them ended up signing up with me um, because the other ones were actually not the right fit for me. So that was amazing. For me, I consider that as an amazing um, result, right? Just from one post. So what I want to share with you today is just, are you sharing with people some of the amazing things that you help them create? What are what are some of the amazing results, even if it's small? Like, it doesn't have to be $26,000 in one week, right? Like, it, it can't just be something that your ideal audience is struggling with that they really would pay money for and then just share it with them, like, what are some of the small things that we did in order to get there, okay? So I'm going to look at some questions. Marcy says, the workers are super helpful and powerful. Big value added. Thank you so much. Yay. I'm so happy. Hi, Nina. Hi, Alex. Good to see you guys here. And so that's really the this piece of content that I'm sharing with you will elevate your ability, your status and your positioning in the marketplace. And it will help people see that you can that you're working with clients who are getting results. Okay, this is what's going to elevate your positioning so quickly because it's almost like you're saying, hey, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, right? Is that how I say it? I don't know if that's the saying. Um, but I don't want you to feel like if you don't have this crazy amount of results, you shouldn't be sharing proof, okay? So I just gave you the structure, but um, in, in, in like the flow of how I just share a testimonial because a lot of people actually just share testimonials and they're just like, here's a testimonial, bye! And they're missing out on the opportunity to t- to tell the story, tell the story of what happened. Does that make sense? This is what makes this type of content so powerful. That I'm not just like slapping a little screenshot on on my Facebook. I'm actually telling the story of some of the problems that we fixed. Do you see that? And I'm not telling them the specific strategy and everything that we did because then the post would just be too complicated, but I'm giving them some of the starting points of some of the secondary problems that my client deals with. So for you, make sure that if you're already sharing your your testimonials, you're actually telling the story and like taking, you know, highlighting a little bit more. Um, but if you don't have amazing, like crazy testimonials and you feel a little bit like insecure, I want you to drop that story and know that every little win that you give your clients is something to talk about, is something to highlight. Even if you have one case study, think about all the little wins in between and think about what were you doing with your client in order to get there. Does that make sense? Don't let massive testimonials, not having massive testimonials or huge things hold you back from sharing with people the analysis, like the backstory of what it feels or of what you did in order to get somebody a result, okay? Um, Marcia says, what about client privacy? They'll be able to ID themselves if no one else can. Should I get permission from them first? Absolutely. If you, yeah, I mean, I always, I never share any details about, you know, my clients, uh, obviously, but I always ask for permission if 
you know, I feel like it's something super personal. So my line of work is different because it's like a mess is like messaging marketing sales. So it's not something like super personal, but absolutely. If it's something that you feel like you don't even have to tell, like say who it is, right? You don't even have to give specific details about the person's circumstances. It can just be like the overall idea of like, Hey, this person, I have a client who was stuck in this scenario, right? And here are some of the things that we worked on on that session in order to really help to to get to this result that he just had like two days ago, right? And maybe what you can say, um, actually, this is not related to privacy, but it's something else that I wanted to say is like being so truthful about what it takes to get a result. Because I think a lot of us feel like sharing testimonials has to be like, whoa, this amazing win in only three days, like what I just had here. But the reality is that it takes time to get results. And what I love that people do, and like what I also do with some of my clients is like, I share, I share, whoa, this was an amazing win that a client had, but can I tell you the truth? It took a long time to get here, or this is all the work we did in order to get here, right? And so I, and I put my audience at ease by saying, look, it's okay if it takes some time. And sometimes that is a takeaway, right? Like it's okay to, if it takes some time, my client probably would have taken way longer figuring it out. So when we did it together, it actually speeded, sped up the results. If you want to work with somebody to really help you speed up the results so that you don't have to figure it out all, all out on your own. Or imagine having all of those failures and not having somebody who can help you put yourself together again. Because a lot of times we don't have a coach and then we just end up giving up, right? And so you want to kind of bring the value back to, hey, like it's okay if it takes you a long time. And if you want to have the support along the way, I'm your girl, or I'm your woman, I'm your man, whatever that is, okay? All right, so that is the type of content that I wanted to share with you. So let me just make sure that I have, because I have lots of notes in the workbook. Um, yes, so here's the last thing that I wanted to say. So in the workbook, you're gonna have a little PS note and it says, take a moment to go through this exercise after every one of your sessions with clients. This will give you ideas for content that are relevant to other people who may be in your audience and have a similar problem. You don't need to wait to finish with your clients to, set, to share some some of the wins. Oh my gosh, I love that I left that note there because that's such a good reminder, right? You don't have to wait to have like, you know, to finish work, working with your client. You can start sharing um, some of the wins right away. Even if it's just like, oh my gosh, had an amazing session with one of my clients and I want to share with you this couple of tips that, it, that came up for me um, as, you know, after that session. She had these questions. This is what was going on. And so here's something that I want to give you, right? And then you can lead into your offer. You can lead into a call to action. Like if you need help with this, send me a message. I would love to support you in X, Y, Z. Does that make sense? Okay. Hi, Marlene. Nice to see you. Cool. Do you guys have any questions on this? This is the final, this is the final, before I um, share with you the winners, this is kind of like the final, uh, obviously, day of today. But I want you to know that there are many different types. There are nine different types of content that really create that magnetic effect. And so if, you know, I've given you probably like three types of content this week, the one we did yesterday, the one we did today, and everything that we did on day one as well that you can use. But what is so important is that you not only share about just business stuff um, because it can fatigue your audience, right? So there are three different pillars of content that I, well, nine different types of content that I share with my audience that really create that magnetic effect. And that's what I go super in depth in my mastermind. So I am going to pop the link in the comments. If you want to check out what we do, it's a three month experience where really help you clarify your message, get super clear on all the content that is going to attract your clients. You can see all of the amazing testimonials that I have. Like I couldn't even fit all the testimonials in one page, but really the intention is that you walk away from the experience feeling so clear, not just on your message, but what's your marketing plan? How do you attract clients and how do you take those clients who are in your feed? How do you activate your audience from just being a follower to actually being a client, right? So all of that process, how to take somebody from like just being there Maybe, maybe liking your post or maybe not even liking your stuff, but maybe just in your audience. How do you activate them? How do you grow your audience and then take them the step by step 
of like guiding them to pre-qualify them for your offer and then how to do a sales call in order to enroll them in your program. So I literally give you the step-by-step -step so you can feel super confident in your message and attract clients consistently that are the right fit for you. So it's a three-month experience. Only 10 people are going to be allowed in. So it's going to be a super intimate group so that you have plenty of time with me, giving you feedback on your copy, giving you feedback on everything to do with your business, obviously marketing and sales. And of course we cover so much mindset because I know that there's confidence that we want to build. So yeah, you really become magnetic and feel like, you know, the, the energy. I think like one of the things that makes my brand magnetic is the energy that I embody. And when I work with my clients, that's something that we really work on, the confidence in their selves, in, in themselves, in their ability to deliver epic results. So we work on that, on your offer, your message, your marketing and your sales. We do it all so that it runs super smoothly. So I'm super excited for that. I'm gonna share it with you. We opened doors two days ago. And if you join by, I think it's September 9th, you actually get an intensive with me as a bonus. Cool? All righty. So I'm gonna now announce the winner of the $500 prize. I hope you are here. I actually changed my mind like earlier today because I'm gonna give the winner $500 and then the second person that participated the entire time a $200 uh, price because they were literally here all the time. So the first winner of the $500 is Julia Andrews. Woo! <laughs> Julia, you did it. And then the second winner is Katie. Wait, what is her last name? I forgot how to pronounce her last name. Anyway, it's Katie, and I will say her last name. I will post it in the comments. I can't remember her last name. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Julia, send me a message so that you can claim your price, $500 that you can use towards this program or any other program with me. And Katie, also send me a message, and you won $200 for also showing up. You guys were always here. So, I'm super, super happy that... Um, Yay, Alex! Alex says congratulations. Super happy that you made the most of the of the series. So thank you so much for joining, you guys. I love you. I hope this was so valuable. You're gonna get the workbook with um, all of the notes from today and the link to the post. And thank you so much for being here. This was so much fun. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be creating more content in the group next week. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna talk a lot about how to unlock your voice in your brand, how to create the seven pillars of a really magnetic brand, which is something that I go into the mastermind, inside the mastermind. But I'm gonna give you a little taste. So I'm gonna do it all next week. We're gonna go over the seven pillars to create magnetism in your brand. So it's gonna be practical, um, really practical stuff that you can implement right away that I know that you need in order to have a foundation um, for your, you know, if you wanna join the mastermind anyway. So it's gonna be so amazing. And that's what I have for you today. Love you guys so much. Thank you, Alex. You're the best. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Jana. Love you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you next week in the group. Mwah. Bye.